I don't like the fact that we feel like we got to talk to our women in such a sugar and spice and everything nice. When we are in a crisis, one in four will marry. 80% of children born out of wedlock. And you're coming to me with the same liberal, weak-wristed bullshit. Be nicer. Say it honeyed. Say it sweet. That ain't got us nothing. We, need some, we need some good old-fashioned truth-telling. But this generation of women aren't receiving. Holy shit. You're still going. They're not. I mean, honestly, they're not receiving it. I, I understand. Totally OK, I know this is Are you married? No, I'm not. You ever been married? No, I haven't. Got any children? No, I don't. You got a girlfriend? No, I got several. I've been married, got kids. I think I know women better than you. You want, you want to start pulling rank. I'm trying to be nice, man. Don't tell me about women if you ain't had no success with them, even fail with them. And I need more men to have some steel in their spine and start standing up and sounding more like me instead of like you. But they're not hearing you because they can't Holy get past shit. the hard experience. All right, they can't get all right, past all right. No, they're, they've heard too much of men who think like you. Where are your balls? And you haven't said anything except I just I just I just I just feel this way. All right, based in what? I'm based listening. Off, based in what? Based off of the conversations that I have with women that that detest the content. And I'm an advocate saying, hey, listen to them. They detest the content. Are they over 30? Yes. Are they tend to do they tend to be overweight? Some any of them have children out of wedlock? <laughs> they all do. I got you. Any of them college graduates? I got you. I, I see where you And what I don't understand is why as a man, you're not on this side saying, yeah, instead of saying softer. We should be going harder. These very mothers you're talking about, how are their sons doing? Would you want to be stepdaddy to any of them? Then don't tell me about softening a message when we're failing our next generation of boys. See, this is where it falls on us. Brother, I keep saying the problem is brothers who think like you, you're too weak for this fight. Don't tell me about the generations. See, this is where black women make a valid critique. It is our responsibility not to worry about the motherfucking generation, the price of tea in China, gas, how tight your shoes are, we gotta grab our balls and be fucking men. Even the ones that weren't raised. I wasn't raised this way. You have to make yourself a man worth being followed. And you don't do it with nice words. You do it by grabbing your balls and getting ready to fight. Because if we can't fight our women, how the fuck we gonna fight the world? They don't respect us because our women don't respect us. I agree. You know how many times I've been in corporate America where people have asked me, how do you put up with it? that Janice is a hell of a spitfire, such and so forth. They laugh at us. I've been on golf courses and in, in boardrooms. And I could never put up with a woman like Brenda. Wow, my Helen is so sweet. She's a spitfire. That, that spitfire is a way for saying uh, something else. They hold our manhood cheap. Because we because we are we are so weak that our women are walking around with long colored fingernails, furry slippers, pajamas, and bonnets, weighing more than men at our height, cussing at us. And you want to be nice to that? Fuck that. You can't make this shit up, people. You cannot make this shit up.